And, I, and there's people that's out there that said, oh, it's because she, you know, black. It's, oh, because she's white. That's why she's getting it. No. Sabrina Ionescu and, and, and uh, uh, Stewart. Brianna Stewart, Stewart and Kelsey Plum and all oh, of the white girls before her. You know, they did not bring this type of energy in the fans to this league like she does. No, it's because how she plays. It's because what she does. It's because she can shoot the ball from 30 feet deep off the dribble, fading left. Like, that's what we like to see. It's electric. It's a different than anything else that we see from Miss Underhand Layups. It's Underhand Layups that's bothering me. Like, not even overhand slapping the glass or anything like that. So the like, what she brings is different. And that's why we're like, it's like a magnet. We're attracted to it. We're like, she's bringing us closer every day, every step by step. We have to see what's going on because it's, it's, it's amazing to see what she's done. So it's not a race thing. It's definitely not a race thing. So let's kick that part out. Black you're about to you're about to get crucified for that, man. That community is not a race thing. She can <laughs> hoop because we all are down. It. A lot of other people cannot hoop the way she does. That it's going to bring our eyes and attention to it. She can pass the ball with the best of them. She has great floor vision. She makes passes down the court. She has the needle. She does all those things. So that's why the black community, I'm sorry, that's not why we're tuned into her. She's freaking good and how she brings it on the court is different than any other player in the league. Because if that was the case, they would be watching those other white girls that's out there who didn't bring the attention that she brought. Or they've been in the league three, four, five years. She just got there and everything has changed since she got there. The other rookies, they are bringing good things to the league too because of their social media presence and, you know, and, and what Angel Reese is doing, because at first she didn't want to be the bad guy. Then she wanted to be the bad oh, guy. She wants, now she wants to be now the she villain again. The bad guy again. And I'm like, well, take one. I said it before. I remember when she said it after the, they lost the game. I said, Rudy, man, take on the bad guy role. Love it. Don't come out and cry about it because, you know, after you lose, no, embrace that shit, man. Come back out there, bully your way through the court, bully the league, and be the bad girl. And we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna jump on your bandwagon for it. We love it. Like if you're gonna stick to it, stick to your truth, and we are gonna rock with it. That's who you are. We are gonna rock with it. You gonna keep getting the fans to watch, and you just be the bad guy. But shit, the bad guy wins sometimes. Shit. Even you know what drives? What drives? Drive. Thank you for watching. Come on now, the podcast. Please be sure to subscribe, like, comment, and ring that bell so you get up-to-the-minute updates when we publish new content. You can also find us on Facebook and Instagram at Come On Now Podcast and X and TikTok at Come On Now Pod. Thank you again for supporting this channel.